Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to finally be filming with this collection. This is the new Pure and Raw Beauty Christie collection. So she has two lashes and then we have an eyeshadow palette. I wasn't able to get it on launch day, so I pre-ordered it and now it's here. And I'm so thrilled about it, you guys. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys either ordered it or pre-ordered it or whatever. So I'm hoping that, you know, some of you might already have these. Maybe you're also receiving them at a similar time as me. And honestly, this eyeshadow palette feels like a very fall eyeshadow palette as far as the tones go. Obviously, it would work all year round, but I feel like it just came at the perfect time. So anyway, let's get right into it. I'm so excited to try this. I absolutely adore Christy. We've actually met once. We met in person at one of, a, I think it was a Dose of Colors party. That, this was probably, gosh, over a year ago. It has to be at this point. And her and her husband were there. I was there with my husband and we just chatted for a while and she's so wonderful, so sweet, so down to earth. I just really adore her. And also it's been so fun to see everything that's been happening for her this year with her baby and also her house that she's been renovating and then this collaboration it's so exciting and she truly is such a wonderful person so I'm really excited to finally be able to play with the palette that she created so this is a really cool concept it's actually a double sided palette so you have this side right here that has more neutral colors they're beautiful the tones are so pretty and then the other side of the palette is the colorful side which is so fun. I definitely feel like this is the side I'm leaning towards. So this is the side that I'm probably gonna use. I might dip into the other side, we'll see. But I'm just feeling like creating a very fall inspired look, which I feel like obviously is appropriate for the time of year. And also if you guys already have this palette, this is probably the type of look, I shouldn't assume, but this might be the type of look that you might wanna wear right now just because of the time of year. So I'm gonna start off with my eyeshadow primer. This is from NARS. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out all over the eyelid with a brush. Okay, so now that I have the primer on, we're gonna dip into the natural side of the palette. I'm gonna take the shade My Whole Heart, and I'm gonna start kind of dusting that higher up on the eye. Sometimes like these lighter tones, they can be used on me as transition shades, so I'm just kind of testing it out to see if it is something I could use as a transition or if it's more like a base color. Yeah, I definitely feel like it's more of an all over base shade, so I'm just gonna go ahead and Apply that all over to start. All of these brown tones look so beautiful. By the way, there are eight matte shades and then one shimmer on both sides, which I love actually. I'm gonna take the shade Copper Boxes, tap off the excess, and we're gonna start building this up on the outer portion. And then also, when there's a little less on the brush, I'm gonna start buffing this back and forth as my transition shade. Um, but I really love how there's not like too many shimmers because honestly, at least for me, and I feel like a lot of people are like this, most of our eye looks, as far as the dimension goes, they're always created with matte eyeshadows. And then I usually just use one shimmer shadow right here. So it's really all you need. I really like how she did that. I'm just doing the same thing on the other eye. All right, we're gonna start to build up the dimension. I'm really excited about this shade right here. This is called B. It's so pretty, there's almost like a, green undertone to it. And I'm just gonna start building that up on this outer third, closest to the lash line. Ooh, that is such a gorgeous color. And then I'm gonna start just moving that into the crease a little bit, but I'm mainly focusing it right here on this like outer V. I feel like this is the perfect brown eyeshadow for fall. It's so pretty. I'm just going back over everything with that first brush we were using, just to make sure it's nice and blended. I obviously am so drawn to this shade in the palette called Moo Point. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that and kind of add it into the inner crease a little bit, just kind of to make it a little softer and to bring some color there. I'm really not using too much, but I just like wanted to use this color somewhere. All right, so next we're gonna take the shade Golden Ticket. I'm gonna use my finger to apply this. That's how I always like to apply my shimmer shadows. And I'm going to apply it onto this inner portion of the lid. Oh, that's so pretty. I've actually never tried Pure Cosmetics eyeshadows. These are really nice. Again, I'm just going back in with that blending brush, making sure the edges are nice and smooth. Do the same thing to the other eye. I'm going back in with the shade B. I didn't add any more to the brush. This is just the brush we were using. And I'm wanting to add a little more depth and blend the shimmer on that outer corner. All right, we're gonna dip into the deep brown shade called You're Not My Real Dad. The names of these are amazing, especially if you watch Robbie D. Christie's videos, obviously. These sayings and everything are so fun, I love it. I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna kind of use it as an eyeliner just across the top lash line. So I created a little bit of a wing, like a soft wing with that eyeshadow. 
I'm taking that fluffy brush and I'm just bringing the shadows up a little bit higher. Okay, I really like that. So Robbie DeChristie also created two lash styles. I bought like the whole collection, so I have both of them here. If you guys know me, you'll know that I don't usually wear false lashes. I just personally, well, first of all, I feel like mascara alone, since I have pretty long lashes naturally, that usually does the trick for me. But also it's difficult for me to find lashes that work on my eye shape. I don't know, I just feel like sometimes they look like they're drowning my eyes out. So I'm wanting to try these. And we'll see what happens. I'm gonna take the lighter option of the two, although both are pretty dramatic. But this style right here is called Can't Be Bothered. Let's just like lay them on top of my lashes and see how they look. Okay, so I've kind of laid them down. Who knows, maybe I should just try them anyway. Should we just try them for the sake of the video? And if I can't pull them off, then darn it. But I really feel like I should give them a fair shot. I definitely feel like I could trim off that end there. Okay. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna go grab my lash scissors and glue and we're going to apply those lashes. <laughs> okay, so I trimmed the lashes. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with a little bit of mascara, just a little bit. I'm gonna use my L'Oreal Voluminous Original Mascara, basically just to kind of get the roots of the lashes. I'm not gonna really run it too far through the ends. Okay, I think that's enough mascara. I'm gonna use my Duo Lash Glue. I just have the clear one. I just applied that to the lash like that. I'm gonna let it kind of dry a little bit before I actually go in and apply it. I'm like nervous because usually lashes like this, I just, I feel like I can't pull them off. So we'll see how it goes. Robbie D. Christie somehow can pull off like the most beautiful, voluminous, dramatic lashes. And they just like suit her really well. So I'm like praying that that happens to me with this. Okay, we're applying. I'm not really able to talk much while I do this. Okay, I feel like these are actually kind of fun. They are definitely the most dramatic lashes I've ever applied to my eyes, but they don't feel too heavy. I feel like they're so fun and fluffy. Okay, we're gonna apply the other one. So I'll be right back in just a second. Okay, so the lashes are on. I feel like a doll. <laughs> Guys, I really don't think I can pull lashes off like this. Let me know what you think in the comments below, but I think they're fun and it's like kind of fun to do something different. So we're just gonna continue. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe away any fallout that got under the eyes. And I'm gonna use it to clean up the edges as well. Something that I'm kind of surprised about with how dramatic these look is actually how light they feel on the eyelids. It's not too heavy, which is nice. I'm just pressing down the edges with my finger to make sure there's no harsh line. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do like my complexion products off camera. Maybe I'll show you like the lip color and the blush and stuff on camera, but I really just wanted to keep it focused on this eyeshadow palette. So we're gonna go ahead and do the complexion, then we'll come back and do something fun on the lower lash line. So I'll see you guys in just a second. Okay, so I'm back with um, foundation, concealer, powder, and bronzer. We're gonna go ahead and do the lower lash line. Now I realize that usually you put false lashes on at the end of the routine, but I had to see like if it was a yes or a no before moving on to the rest of my complexion so I could balance it out just because they're like the most dramatic lashes I've ever worn. So I just wanted to kind of get them out of the way so I could kind of play around with the rest of the makeup after. All right, let's do the lower lash line. I can't figure out, I was thinking of using maybe a color, but the lashes are just so dramatic that I really feel like I'm gonna keep it on this neutral side here. So I'm gonna go into the shade Copper Boxes and I'm gonna start just stamping that between the lashes along the lower lash line. And then I'm just gonna kind of buff that out a little bit. Same thing on this eye, making sure to connect it to that edge on the top lid. Next, I'm gonna take the shade Golden Ticket. I'm gonna take that on a flat brush and then mist it with a dewy setting mist just to make it damp so we can avoid as much fallout as possible on that lower lash line. But I wanna just kind of line the inner third. I'm just applying it right here along that lower lash line. Same thing on the other eye. This is such a gorgeous gold shade, especially when you apply it with a damp brush. It's so stunning, I love it. All right, we're gonna need a little more definition on the outer corner. So we're gonna go dip into this shade right here called B. This is already one of my favorite shades on this side of the palette. I'm wanting to use this just on the outer third to bring that definition and smokiness. I love the tone and undertone of this color. Okay, next I'm actually gonna take the shade Moo Point on a fluffier brush and I'm gonna use this kind of as my transition shade on the lower lash line to just blend out the edges. I don't know, there's something about that purple mixed into these golds and browns that I really love. It's a little bit more of a contrast because the purple is more cool toned, but it looks really gorgeous with all the other colors. I love it. All right, I'm actually going to flip the palette over just for this shade, Cafe Disco. I really wanted to put this in the inner corner. It looks so pretty. 
I'm so excited. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that in the inner corner as my highlight. It has like this iridescence to it. So beautiful. Yeah, there's like a pink and purple shift to it. Oh, I know I'm gonna love that all over the lids as well, but in like a different look, you know? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and apply the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara to the lower lashes. Okay, so I'm just gonna quickly finish up the complexion and the lips. I'm gonna use the Jaclyn Cosmetics Luminous Powder in the shade Doomy. It's a really cool, like, golden highlight powder, but it's not too intense, which is something I really love about it. So I'm just gonna get a bit of this on a brush. I'm just gonna build this up on the high points of the cheeks. I like to buff this into the skin when I use it as a highlighter and just continue to build it up until I get the amount of glow that I want. I'm gonna take it down the center of the nose and a bit on the cupid's bow as well. For lips, I'm gonna take the Thrive Cosmetics Lip Filler Lip Liner in the shade Khaki. I'm gonna line and fill in the lips with this. I just wanted something that's a little bit more fall. And then we'll do the blush at the end because I still don't know what color blush I want. Okay, after I've applied the lip liner, I'm gonna go in with my um, Truffle Tease Lipstick from Maybelline. This is like my favorite. I'm just gonna layer that right on top. Okay, for blush, I'm gonna use the Patrick Ta She Sincere Blush. This is actually one of my go-to blushes for fall. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that to the cheeks. Blush makes such a difference. Okay, once that's applied, I'm just gonna take my powder brush and make sure it's not too intense right here. And then I always like to take my sponge after using all my powders and things. And I just feel like this helps mesh it into the skin. Even before setting spray, I'll do this. I think it makes everything look so much better. All right, we're gonna step back and assess the situation. Of course, I'm gonna add a little more bronzer, just the tiniest amount on the forehead, back under the cheeks a little bit, and down the neck. I think everything else is where I want it. Okay, so I'm gonna take the Innisfree Dewy Glow Mist with Cherry Blossom. And I'm just gonna spray this on mostly the outer portions of the face. And then we're gonna go in once that starts drying and just gently press it into the skin again to just get rid of any powders and to allow it to all sink down into the skin nicely. I always like to take a little powder and kind of dust it through the T-zone after setting spray just to make sure that that area doesn't get too oily. Also in the brows a little because I tend to get oily there. And then we're gonna use brow gel. I'm just gonna use my Benefit 24 hour brow setter. I'm gonna run that through the brows. All right, you guys, so that completes this look using the Pure Cosmetics and Raw Beauty Christy palette. Congrats again to Christy for this palette. I really, really, really enjoyed it. And I'm so excited to dip into the colorful side next time. Let me know if you guys would like to see that in a video. I can throw it into like a different video if you guys wanna see it, because I really would love to play with the color, but I just had to try out the neutral tones and make like a fall look for the first time using it, and I really love how it turned out. Also the lashes, like I still can't tell if I can pull them off or not, so I don't know, but I like them. I really do feel like there's something about them that I like. I still, deep down, kind of have like a fear of big lashes. I really feel like they do drown my eyes, but these ones feel lightweight. I feel like they are the most flattering, dramatic lashes that I've ever put on my eyes, we'll say that. But let me know in the comments if you guys like the lashes. The eyeshadow look I created, I genuinely love. I feel like the formula, first of all, worked really beautifully. The mauve color Moo Point was so surprising. At first, when I looked at the palette, I thought that I would use that as just like a transition shade for something more simple. Like I thought I would have to do either a purple and pink look or like a brown tone look, but mixing that mauve tone into the warm browns made it so pretty and I feel like it just transitioned into each other so nicely and made it look a little softer and a little more romantic. So I'm obsessed with the color scheme. I can't wait to keep trying more. I genuinely enjoyed trying out this palette. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's been a long time coming, but again, I figured, you know, if I just received this after pre-ordering it, maybe some of you guys are as well. So we could all kind of, you know, reach for this palette together. I think that'd be really fun. So yeah, make sure to leave a comment letting me know if you wanna see more looks using this palette, if you guys ended up picking it up. If you're new here, hi, my name is Allie, and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, but you wanna be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. That's it for me today. I hope you guys have an amazing day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye.